Good afternoon, people. So, I found myself in a very difficult position, okay? A very fucking difficult position. And let me tell you why. I work in a care home, okay? I work in a care home. I'm the maintenance manager, facilities manager, whatever you want to call it, okay? Now, I'm in a trusted enough position that I take documents to and from the GP surgery you know, from the GP back to the care home and from the care home back to the GP surgery. Now, I need you to fucking listen to what I'm about to tell you, okay? Listen to me because this is facts. This is the fucking truth. For all of you who don't know what a DNR form is, okay? A DNR form is a do not resuscitate form, okay? It's allow a natural death. So, Regardless of whether you're 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, whatever, whether you're fucking bound to a wheelchair, whether you have no, no capacity at all, they are getting your family members to sign do not resuscitate forms. They're DNR forms, okay? Now, this is why I started to ask questions, because I know the people, I know the residents in the care home, okay? I know them well enough to know whether or not they should be signing a fucking DNR form. Do you understand? Let me tell you something, I guarantee you, if the family members knew what they are getting the fucking residents to sign, they wouldn't allow it, they wouldn't give consent. Although it is the residents consent whether or not they're going to sign the form or not, at least they would have the family influencing what they're going to be signing, okay? Some of these people don't have capacity, alright, and they're getting people to sign these DNR forms which are do not resuscitate. Now I could get fucked for posting this. I could get so fucking fucked, right? But I'm telling you, I'm gonna show you this form. And I have to cover the I have to cover the information, right? But I'm gonna show you what a DNR form looks like, okay? Listen to me. And you have to listen. You you can't sit on the fucking fence anymore. You have to start using your fucking brain. Alright? Because this could be your nan, this could be your brother, your fucking dad, anyone. You need to listen. Stop sitting on the fence, wearing a mask and wearing gloves and going around fucking sanitising. This ain't time to be doing that shit, man. You need to fucking start listening to your heart. Listen to the people who you think are crazy. Because the people who think they're crazy are normally the ones who are going to change this fucking world. Look, right? Now, I have to cover this. I have to cover part of it. But I'm going to show you just a little bit of it, right? Listen to me, please. Allow a natural death form. Do not attempt resuscitation. Do you see that? See it? Allow a natural death form. Do not resuscitate. DNR. Listen to me. They're getting people to sign these forms without the family's consent. And this is why I'm in such a sticky position, because one of these people on this form shouldn't be fucking on there. It's one of my fucking friends. You know? It's someone who should not be on that form. And it's a fucking joke, mate. It's a fucking joke. Because these residents are locked down on their own. They've got no influence from the families, yeah? And they're getting pushed into signing these forms. People, you got to fucking listen. This ain't time for fucking around and sitting on the fence and just allowing your family members to fucking suffer. Honestly, man, it's fucking upsetting. There's one person on this form, and I know him personally. And I guarantee you, if the family members knew what he was signing, although it is down to him at the end of the day, it's down to him. It's his consent. But there's no influence from any family member. Do you get what I'm saying? Why do you think they're getting them to sign it in lockdown, man? Because they know that the families would not consent to this, mate. They would not put the influence... They, they would be influenced their family member to make a critical fucking... Use their logical thinking. But they're not. And I guarantee you, I know why they're doing this. Because that vaccine that they're going to give the care home residents first, they're first in line for it, it's going to fuck them up. You know, I feel like in such a fucking hard position right now. 
Because now I've got to go and give this to the GP, knowing full well in my heart that I fucking know it's wrong, mate. This is wrong, man. It's fucking wrong. I'm not a man who cries easy. Trust me. I'm not a fucking guy who cries easy, mate. I'm a fucking tough man. But this is the time, guys. It's getting close where you're going to have to choose a side. You're going to have to choose a side. You can't sit on the fence anymore. You have to do your research and start waking the fuck up. Please. And now I'm in a position where I've, I've got the form. It's right there. I've got four of them right next to me. And just one of them on there. I know he shouldn't be signing that fucking form, man. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to say. I don't know what the fuck to do. I don't even know if I should be posting this video after. It's fucked up, man. It's fucked up. This is dangerous shit. This is dangerous, man. They're trying to take everything from us. I haven't seen my nan in fucking nine months because she believes these cunts. Nine months, she's been locked down in her fucking house. You're not even allowed in. Because she believes, she trusts. I fucking don't. And it's right in front of my fucking eyes, man. I heard Kate Shimarani, Mark Steele, all of these great people who are talking facts and people are shutting them down, calling them conspiracy theories. This is not a conspiracy, mate. Look, this is in my fucking hands. I'm sorry I've got to cover things up. I've got to cover my company name. That is the form, mate. I've got four of them right here next to me. And one of the guys on there should not be on that fucking form. I don't know what to do. I can't not give it in, obviously. Do I post this video? Do I risk my fucking job? I've got three kids, one on the way, man. I'm going to have four kids, father of four kids. And look at the position I'm in now. It's wrong, man. Guys, you have to fucking wake up. You've got to wake up now, okay? This ain't time for pissing around. Go and fucking research your shit, man. Stop trusting the government because they're fucking you over. And look, I didn't even know whether I should be doing this or not. But I'm telling you now, I'm going to take a photo of this fucking form, right? I'm going to take a photo. And I'm going to decide whether or not I should be posting this. Because I don't know. I should be. My heart tells me I should. But I'm scared. Like many others, scared of telling the fucking truth. And this is the position they've got us in. Dangling us by a string. And I am so fucking fuming, mate. I'm fucking livid. I'm fucking livid that one of these people are on there. He shouldn't be on there. I guarantee you if he had influence from his family, he wouldn't be fucking signing this form. It's a joke. It's a fucking joke. So look, for any of you who are sitting on the fence, right? I'm telling you now, your questions... Your, your belief systems are going to be questioned to the max and you are going to have to fucking make a decision whether you go that way or you go with the people. There's no more sitting on the fence, okay? You need to wake up, you need to listen to what I'm saying, you need to share this fucking video if I put it out because I don't fucking know what to do. Look, with that, man, I'll, I'm going to go. I'm going to go. But believe me, I'm not talking shit. I'm not chatting shit, mate. They're doing this. This is happening. This is not fucking fake. This ain't fake, man. This is real shit. This is real fucking people who are getting fucked over. And it's hard to watch. you got to listen, man. you got to start waking up. Okay? And start fucking thinking. Start using your own brain. Start using logical thinking. Use your conscience, use your heart and follow your heart. Okay? 
And with that, I'm going to go. You know, it's always love, man. It's always love. <laughs>